Hi everyone, now let's take the next question. Read the question well. The question says, let ABCD be a parallelogram. The length of the side AD and the diagonal AC has been given to you as 10 cm and 20 cm respectively. If the angle ADC is equal to 30 degrees, then the area of the parallelogram has been asked. Now we all know to find the area of the parallelogram, you will need the base as well as the height of that parallelogram, right? Let's first term the, just, uh, the vertices of this parallelogram as A, B, C and D. If possible, let's also make uh, a point E somewhere on CD so that AE becomes perpendicular and that is also equivalent height. And let's also make the diagonal which is AC of this parallelogram. Towards the end, you need the base and the height to find the area of this parallelogram. Now let's see what all things have they given us. The diagonal AC's length has been given to you as 20. The length of the diagonal has been given to you as 20. And then what is what else has been given to you? The side AD has also been given to you as 10. Side AD has also been given to you as 10 units or 10 centimeter. The angle ADC is given to you as 30. So if AD is 30, AED is 90. So this value will certainly be 60. So basically ADE will become 30, 60, 90 triangle. And we all know the side supposed to 30, 60, 90 degree will be in the root in the ratio of 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So if AD is 10, if AD is 10, AE will certainly be half of 10, which is 5. If AE is 5, then the angle opposite to 60 will be 5 root 3. So we know one part of the whole length, which is DC, which is small section, which is DE, has come out to be as 5 root 3. Now let's take the triangle, which is, let's take the triangle, which is now AEC. We are looking at AEC. Uh, this basically will be a 90 degree right angle triangle. So using Pythagoras formula, you will understand that AC square will be equal to AE square plus EC square. Now certainly you uh, know AC, you know AE also. So let's put the values. 20 square is 400. This value is 5 square 25 should be equal to EC square. So the value of EC will come out to be as what? 400 minus 25, which is 375, which ideally will be 5 root 15. Will be 5 root 15. Now I got to know AE is 5 root 3. EC is 5 root 13. So this whole length will be how much? This whole section, which is the base of this parallelogram will be 5 root 3 plus 5 root 15. Now this is my base. We also know the height of this parallelogram has come out to be as 5. So my final answer will be 5 times 5 root 3 into 5 root 15, which is 25 times root 3 plus root 15. Slightly easy question. Very well you can mark option number D to be the final answer for this question. The whole objective is to see what is required. The base has to be found and the height has to be calculated. Take it part by part. One angle has been given to you. Two sides has been given to you. Find out the small section DE. Using DE or E, you will be able to find the length of EC also. Towards the end, you have got the whole length of DC. You have got the height AE. Multiply both of them to find the final answer, which will be option number D in the end. 